In this video, I'm going to explain how to draw the stress strain curve of a tendon under a gradual tensile load. Um, this is important because it does have three distinct areas of the curve, which is different to the usual stress strain curve that we normally draw for orthopedic materials. So you all know the axes by now. Uh, so on the y-axis you have stress, which is in newtons over meter squared. And on the x-axis you have the strain, which is a percentage change in length over the original length. So the first region of the curve is known as the toe region. The toe region represents the area of the curve where you have crimped fibres of the tendon. And as you uh, gradually load it in tension, you get uncrimping of these fibres. So it's not a linear, um, it, it, it doesn't take a linear path because as the fibres uncrimp, uh, you, you gradually get an increase in strain. Once all the fibres have uncrimped, then you get the linear portion of the curve. Now, this portion of the curve um, exhibits um, Hooke's law of proportionality, so you can work out the Young's modulus uh, at this point of the curve. So this is the linear region. Beyond the linear region, you get what we call the P-lin, which is the linear yield point of the tendon. And as it, as it goes beyond this point, it takes uh, these little dips uh, and, and you get peaks and troughs. Uh, and, and this represents the sequential failure as you continue to load the tendon. If you imagine all the, all the tendon fibers are under constant stretch, but you get, some, you get sequential failure of the tendon. So as, as the fibers um, fail, you get these little dips. And then as you load it more, you get an increase in strain, and then when another one fails, you get another dip. So this happens all the way up to the highest point of the curve, where it's known as P max, which is the, the, the maximum uh, amount of uh, stress that the tendon can withstand. So this is also known as the ultimate tensile strength, if you like. And, and then you get a rather rapid uh, failure of the whole construct, so so that will be your necking, and then you have failure here or fracture of the tendon. 